I stand in this court today taking full responsibility for what I did. Theodore Lucky was unlucky in love, he told the court. They were cellmates in prison and became lovers. But when Nathan Cashman got out, he wanted to end their relationship despite gifts and cash over the years. Lucky was enraged. Prosecutors laid out the evidence in excruciating detail. In that footage, the defendant can be seen repeatedly striking, stabbing, even sawing at Mr. Cashman with the machete as he was trapped on the ground in that small area behind the desk. The state says the first victim was also a former lover who traveled to New Hampshire from New Jersey with Lucky. The 60-year-old grandfather, David Hanford, was found tied to a hotel bed inside the country inn in suites. He'd been strangled. He described convincing Mr. Hanford to let the defendant tie him to the bed, again under the guise that they would be having sex. He described using the shoestring, tape, and electrical cords from around the room. Cashman's family stood up one after another to give victim impact statements. But it was his 83-year-old grandmother who looked the killer in his eyes and told him off. Who do you think you are when it says on the death certificate multiple machete wounds is why they died? That is a very cruel man who does it. Why you think you have the right to do this to somebody is beyond me. The Cashman family broke into applause when Judge Delker sentenced Theodore Lucky to life without parole. Theodore Lucky blew the family a kiss as he was led out of the courtroom. We're live at Superior Court in Manchester this evening. Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.